Happy Saturday, guys! Happy Saturday! Happy Sunday! So, oh, I don't even know what day it is. So, I'm undoing my uh, tank park duties, putting my uh, spill sob down, giving the garage a bit of a clean. It's, um, it's not spill sob like, it's just cheap cut litter. But, it does the same job. Brings back memories for some, I'm sure. Dilly dilly! Okay, the latest edition, project number, I don't know what now, I've lost track, uh, here we have the uh, Mark 4 Golf, we have 1.4, one owner from new, it's covered 98,000 miles, comes with an extensive service history, it's never wanted for anything, uh, mechanically wise anyway, lots of receipts, um, no expense spared really. Body work's not great in some areas. Um, engine compartment is just as you'd expect, totally original, not cleaned, but I'll sort that out. But yeah, everything as is, even the battery cover on. Quite rare to see in this condition. It's even got the uh, the flexi pipe on there. Again, stuff like that. Just you wouldn't normally have that. It would be gone. So yeah, all very original, which makes this car quite unique actually. Which is why I was tempted to buy it uh, for a one owner from new. It's not worth a lot of money, um, you know, but. It's just, it's just one of them. It's just an easy project to do and just quick flip. All brand new tyres on. It's had new pads and discs on the back. Front ones need replacing, I think. Yeah, so I'll put new discs and pads on the front. Uh, a little bit difficult to see there. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, but other than that, that's alright. As I say, bodywork. It's, it's got tree sap on the on the bonnet there, something need sorting out. Yeah. It's had a rub on there. Um, yeah, it's just all sorts for the body. It's, um, I don't know what it is, marks on there. Uh, that's been filled before, badly as well. Some scratches on there, so I don't know what's up there. Yeah, a bit of a dint there. I'll say, bodywork wise, it's not great, but mechanically, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. Interior's totally original. Yeah, it does have a, a tail on the, on the side there, which is, you know, just common for these cars that, you know, for all they were good build quality back in the day. Yeah, seats are always going to get a bit of wear. It's a special, uh, not a special edition, but a final edition. Yeah, so it was the last sort of year, if you like, of the Mark IVs rolling off the production line. Um, oh, got a book pack here. Oh, they've gone. Yeah, full book pack. Um, all original, so that's great. <laughs> the studio man, get in. I remember when I had mine, T Reg, bringing back memories. <laughs> yeah, had uh, had that in. Bizarre. Aircon, it's a. Uh, I've seen the. Um, the aircon's been regassed recently, or last year anyway. Yeah, so that's all been done. I tried it on the way back here when I've test when I've drove it back uh, home, and it got really cold. Yeah, so again, it's just them sorts of things you wouldn't expect to work on a car uh, of this age and mileage. But everything is just absolutely, apart from bodywork, everything is mechanically spot on. Yeah, uh, works a treat. I mean, you can even see, you know, the, all the the greasing that's been done. Yeah, it's been done by Vox Parts, which is actually in Meadowfield. It's just on the road from myself. Uh, this is who's looked after the car for this many years. Um, yeah, it does need a clean leg. I uh, must say that. But uh, that's my fault, eh, I think. Anyway, that's a quick um, quick load down of the car itself. It's going to do somebody proud, this. Uh, certainly for a, um, a first car for somebody. Um, it didn't look in the boot actually, let's see if the spare wheel, oh look at that man, everything, absolutely everything, 
here. I mean, it's got um, it's a brand new tyre that. Brand new. Still got the uh, coloured marks on it. Yeah. It's just fantastic. Really happy with it. Right, that's it for now then guys. So this will be a quick flip. Uh, clean, change front pads, discs, MOT, hopefully it passes. Um, and then churn it out. Dilly dilly. Well guys, been busy. Um, cracking on, so I cleaned all the engine compartment. Yeah, it just looks like it's like brand new yeah it really is I mean it's just phenomenal I haven't even put any shiny stuff on yet so it'll look even better once that's on yeah for the photographs for the year uh, for sale ad um, yeah so it's had a uh, it's had a full jet wash uh, get all the moss and crap out of it uh, that was on it um, so it just needs a, a bit of a polish so I'll use uh, this car to do me polishing videos so you can look forward to that uh, in one of the episodes yeah getting me uh dodo juice machine out uh, there's there is some problems with the bodywork on this uh, as you can see here uh, it's being sort of uh, just filled in that um bit of a, a crap repair i'm not going to do anything with it though it's just getting left as it is uh, but i will polish the actual body up um, which will come up um, spot on just be a shame with them them bits on it again on this side as well yeah uh, this has been uh, again just had a bit of a bodge repair done to it uh, which isn't great but it is where it is I've cleaned the interior already uh, again you'll not be able to um, see the video but it's all been uh i see and i'll be able to see the carpet is literally like brand new it had three carpet mats over it um so i've got the original floor mats which are in good nick uh, from when the car was bought um there's the back ones yeah so the seats the seats do need a clean yeah, it looks worse with the uh, the light on it like this but um yeah these will get cleaned with uh, my vax but other than that the interior's done yeah the headlining's just like as new um there's been no hard hard life inside of here like yeah definitely not which is a bonus not much to uh clean up at all i'm trying to push the volkswagen badge in which is the mark 5 golf um never mind yeah, I've cleaned all the back out. It took a while because there was some dog hairs on this, so I've had to get all the dog hairs off. Um, speaking of dog hairs, I'll just give it a uh, top tip. Uh, if I get uh, this scratch here, so just on dog hairs, certainly in, in the boot area, um, it, with, with this type of material, um, just going over it with the hoover won't get the dog hairs out. So what I do is I use a, um, a, a hairbrush for a, for a pet, like a pet brush. Uh, this is the one I had for the cat. Uh, it's a bit worse for wear now. I need a new one. Yeah, but all you simply do is just go over it. And what it does is it pulls all the um, all the hairs up, and then you can just hoover over it, and they come out no bother at all. So that's what I've done with the back of this. If if I should have done it before and after, there was just pitted in dog hairs in there, yeah, and it just didn't take long at all with the with a brush so there's a top tip for you yeah so that's it for now um as i say i'll just vax the um uh, vax the seats that's all it needs doesn't need the carpets doing or anything like that so it's literally just quick vax around with the seats i may even get away with rather than vaxing them um i could just put some up all street cleaner on that some um dry cleaning agent and then just wipe it um i'll see uh, I'll get my needle and thread out and I'll um, stitch that together just to make it look better than what it is at the moment. Uh, I don't know how good a job that will be but it'll look better than what it is. And again just a wipe down of the dash and some shiny stuff on it that will bring that up. 
Um, yeah, so other than that, that's it. And, uh, mechanical wise, I've just got the front pads and discs uh, to change and then put it in for MOT. So I'll bring the MOT centre on Monday and get it booked in for MOT. And I'll just start now doing the ad, right up for the ad, which will be quite an epic. Uh, trying to appeal to its really good points, which is the one owner. Uh, full service history, basically no expense spared whatsoever. Um, you know, just quite unique and try and sell it on that point. Hopefully make a bit of a tidy profit. Right, catch you later guys, dilly dilly. Ah, uh, the other thing I don't think I mentioned, but uh, it's just had brand new tyres on as well. All four. Oh, just doesn't get any better, man. Dilly dilly. Hi guys, so I'm going to be um, polishing the uh, Golf today, so I just thought I'd do a quick vid on um, how I go about machine polishing. I'm by no means an expert, uh, I just, uh, you know, do the best I can uh, with what I've got. So it is a good machine, I've used it in the past. Um, it, it is specifically for polishing, uh, but I've used it for sanding as well, so it's a combination, because uh, it's got the speed. Uh, a selection on, on the bottom there so I can select what speed I want which is critical for when you're polishing yeah so that's it get yourself a good orbital polisher you can get two different types um orbital and non-orbital if you like uh, uh, from the reviews I've seen it is best to get an orbital sander uh, certainly if you're just starting out on machine polishing uh, it just lessens the chance of you actually getting it wrong and burning your paint yeah, with an orbital sander it's going to oscillate and it's not going to concentrate in one area for too long uh, so as i say it, it is beneficial if you just like diy polishing just to bring up the surface and make it look presentable um which i'm going to do on this yeah, it'll still have really good effects um you know if it was anything really deep scratches on really poor work uh, and, and it was a car that i was keeping i would either do the best myself or i would just pay somebody with the expertise and knowledge to do it so this is not an expert job this is just give it a good polish uh, so it's uh, better than what it was in essence so a bit of prep work obviously give it a thorough wash yeah i've got a jet wash so i've jet washed all the car yeah made sure that it is clean there will be other marks on the car that a jet wash and soap won't get off i.e well, this mark in here yeah it's either tree sap or, or whatever but just normal washing isn't going to get that off uh, there's a lot more on the other side uh, on the doors uh, you know whether whether that be um you know rubber marks possibly something rubbed up against it uh i don't know but there's you know clearly stuff on here that hasn't come off with just normal jet washing brush so very marked there so rather than going on straight on there with a the polisher i will actually take these off by hand um and what i mean by that is just using some normal uh, tire remover not polish you don't want to be applying polish to that to try and get it off uh, but i'll just be using you know some cheap car plant tire remover yeah uh, put a little bit on uh on a cloth yeah and just rub it on and then uh, we'll see how that goes so i'll do a bit of a demonstration of that just so i can show you uh, a bit of prepping of the surface before we go into actually uh you know different pads and uh, polishing agents that we can get for the uh, machine polisher okay that's it for now dilly dilly okay so um yeah so we've got uh, that mark there so i've just got me a uh, tar remover there just gonna We'll work that in with the uh, microfiber cloth. Let's do some rotation movements. Then a uh, quick wipe off. Hopefully that's took uh, the thick of that. Thick of that off. Which it does. So you can still see the remnants of the mark where it's at into the sort of paintwork, if you like, whatever it was. Um, but that's took a thick of it off. Uh, the light's not great. So again, I'll do the same with all these bits uh, around that door handle. 
and that bit there. Dilly dilly. Right, so that's uh, the, uh, the body prep done. Yeah, as I say, just getting the thick of uh, bits of imperfections out on the paintwork before we start polishing. So different types of pads you can get. So this is quite a coarse pad, um, and it, you know they're colour coded uh, certainly for the uh, Dodo Juice uh, range of car polishing equipment. Uh, so your, your green is pretty much a, a medium uh, uh, foam polishing pad. Yeah, so this will be used for actually cutting uh, into the paint. And then there's a black uh, finishing pad, yeah, which is a lot finer. Uh, and that will take off any uh, any polishing swirls, if you like, what you see in the sunlight after a car's being polished. Certainly by hand, it's hard to get swirl marks out. Um, so that's the uh, the finishing pad, if you like. Okay, so under the uh, liquids, so you can get different cuts. Uh, so this one's a, a 2.5, yeah, super swirl remover, SSR. So 2.5. So this is what you would use as a cutting compound. Um to do the initial uh you know starting to do the initial cut and polish uh, with the machine onto the paintwork itself going through the application of that um is fairly straightforward we'll stick this pad onto the bottom of the uh, machine and then we're just going to put a, a dot of this on each four, uh, basically on four points uh, corners only a little bit you don't need to go overzealous with it and again, if, if, if I remember, I'll do a quick video of, of that. But that's all you're doing, putting a dot on each. Uh, and then simply put a low speed. Uh, starting off with a low speed on this. Otherwise, if, if you start off with it too fast, you can imagine um, that liquid you've just put on them dots will just spray off uh, away from the car. So you just st put it onto the car, start off on low speed. Yeah, and then all we're doing then... It's just doing patches at a time yeah we're basically um starting off uh, you can go up across uh, overlap half come back down cross overlap half yeah and just doing small sections of the car the idea is uh, to just keep going over in layers yeah until we get that sort of um you know the hairs coming through and we start to see the paintwork yeah the more times you're going over, the more heat you're generating. And it's the heat that's actually cutting into the polish and, and making the polish do the work. Um, it's a bit like uh, metal polishing, I guess. Yeah, it's using the actual the compound and the heat generated off the friction uh, to actually uh, cut into the, uh, to the surface, if you like. And that's no different with their paint. And that's why it's you've got to be careful uh, not to keep it in one place too long because you will generate too much heat and you can end up bubbling uh, the paintwork. So you do have to be careful. As I say, for a, a novice uh, like myself uh, and certainly not professional, yeah, I'm, I'm literally just uh, going over it a couple of times uh, and that'll be enough just to take off any, um, you know, build up of crap on the paintwork and give it a nice shine for, for an amateur. Okay, enough of that for now. Dilly dilly. Okay, so I've, uh, I've turned the speed down uh, on the one. Uh, just simply going to take the bottle out of it and let some use for a while. Yeah, I'll put my uh, splodges on there. Just leave it up there and then that's it. I'm just going to put it on there yeah, and start to work it in. Just going to do a bit of time. Put the foot. So I just mark the square up there. Don't need to put too much pressure on. And then it's just up and down, left and right, overlapping as I'm going. That's it. That's me up and down, and I can go across the way as well. Up and across. 
Again, not too much pressure, keep it nice and flat. Let that liquid start to cook into the top there. Okay, that's two passes in now, so I'll increase the speed to number three. Again, just work it on. Overlapping as you're going. Consistent speed. Okay, I haven't finished yet. I'm just going to stop the video, but that's all I'm doing. Yeah, going over that. I'll do that for about another 10 passes in each direction. Yeah. And then I'll get the uh, microfiber cloth and then buff it up and then show you the finish. Dilly dilly. Okay, so I've been over it about uh, you know a good few times there. Oh, oh that was just me. Uh, just fell on the floor. Never mind. I'm sure it'll be okay. Right, so yeah, we've been over that a couple of times. Uh, I'm just going to go over it now with the uh, microfiber cloth and just buff it up. And then uh, we'll just see what the end result is like compared to uh, the rest of, of the car that we haven't done yet. And again, I've got the uh, the finishing pad as well to do. Yeah, so once I've done the whole car with the cutting disc, I can then move on to the uh, the finisher, which will bring it up a whole lot better. But uh, for a first pass on this particular bit, hopefully we shall see some uh, some good results here. So difficult to see, but um, yeah, that's a bit of a better angle. So there's the uh, the before, if you like, and then there's the after. And I think we can definitely see. Uh, a prominent difference there. So that's it. I basically, go around the whole car now and do this. Uh, do this with the rest of the car. <laughs> dilly dilly. Wow. Well, well, guys, it's all polished. Uh, I don't know how good it, it's going to look on the uh, video, and it's not in the. Uh, in the daylight near this, in the natural light, it's not as good, but um, I can certainly see the difference from what it was before, uh, and I'm sure it comes up on the on the video as uh, a, a polished surface, yeah, shall we say. 
Uh, it does bring out all the scratches as well, like all the deep scratches, but it's definitely a polished um, paint job. Happy days. All, you know, all the slightest imperfections will have polished out. So anything that's on it now is just, you know, from purely the age of the car, if you like. But yeah, I'm well happy with that. Uh, once I can get it out into the sunlight and I get the alloys done and get the uh, tyre black on, yeah, it should look a million dollars. Yeah, look really good in the daylight. So, yeah, job well done. Getting there. Lovely. The Mark IV, just some of the them. Just the front end of them. Timeless. Which is why these will become a classic in years to come. Be nice to keep all of this one wrapped in cotton wool, but I guess it's not that good a car. Uh, I think it's just dwelling on the fact that it's a one owner. But yeah, really pleased with the results of that. Have the remainder of a good evening. Yeah, uh, polishing episode. Wow. <laughs>